Hi guys, today's video is a response to Beat Safari 101 in London. Beat Safari asked, one thing that would be great to see is your way of baking bread outdoors. I've seen a couple of videos of people using dustbins, oops, sorry, garbage, or is it trash cans you guys call them? To be able to make bread outdoors is something special. I start with a bannock made out of bisquick and I add the bisquick to the pan and, and then add a little bit of water. If I've added too much water, I add more bisquick and I stir until all the lumps are out. It's getting pretty good. I, uh, today I'm using my grandfather's gold pan and maybe if we're lucky there'll be a few gold flakes that, that uh, fall into the bread. Depending on the meal, I add amendments to the bisquick. If it's a dessert, I add brown sugar, cinnamon, and raisins. If I want a healthy breakfast, I mix the bisquick with oatmeal. Sometimes I cook the bannock inside an onion for a main meal, or inside an orange peel to make a tasty muffin. I use five different cooking methods depending on the situation. The first is ash cooking, that is directly on the coals. The second is frying in a pan. The third is roasting, sometimes that's called planking because I roast the bread on a plank of wood, a piece of wood. The fourth is baking, and I'm, I have a little Dutch oven I've made that I, I bake the bread in. And then finally, the final method is boiling. This demo is going to show all five methods at once. And so if we're lucky, if I tell them everything right, nothing will be burned and we'll have a good lunch. I'm separating a small amount of batter for ash cooking. That is cooking directly on the coals or hot rocks. This is a great method that adds flavor of the ashes. Here's one patty for ash cakes. I'm mixing a second patty with brown sugar, cinnamon, and raisins. This will be put inside an orange peel. A third example of ash cooking is with an onion peel. For this, I'll add flax seed uh, to the mixture and then put it into the fire. The second approach to cooking is frying. This is the least healthy of the methods, but it sure tastes good. I'm putting olive oil in this little skillet right here. This is my backpacking skillet. And I'll just shove some coals between these logs and then uh, carefully monitor the frying of the, of, the ash cake, of the cake. The third way I make bread is to roast it. Sometimes this method is called planking because it's the bread is put on a plank or a flat piece of wood. It takes no tools, just a piece of wood. Put a thin layer of mixture of the bannock on the wood that you've wet first so that the bannock sticks. Put it next to the fire and in a few minutes you'll have roasted bread. The fourth technique is baking. I first take an empty beer can, cut the top of it off, and then put olive oil on the inside and then put a small amount of bannock into the, into the beer can. I then take that can and put it inside a larger can to which I've added pebbles. This keeps the two cans apart so the bannock won't burn. I then put a lid on the outer can and coals on the, on the top of the outer can as well as a few coals underneath. The objective is to get the bread to cook evenly. It's a homemade Dutch oven. The fifth technique is boiling. I'm going to make dumplings. Boil them for about 10 minutes and then add a soup mixture. The soup depends upon what's available. Today I'm using a mixture of dehydrated chicken strips, black beans, and pepper. I'm using chicken bouillon and then adding salt and pepper also, plus a little bit of olive oil. Dinner is served. Fry bread, 
baked bread, planked bread, ash cakes. This one's in an orange, and you can see the inside's not burned. It really looks scrumptious. This ash cake is in an onion, and this one's on the ashes. You see how it looks burned on the outside? If I break it open, it's beautiful. All of this is garnished with church cap. Wonderful. Bread is more than just food. Think of how the word is used. Work that earns a solid income is often referred to as bread and butter. The words bread and dough are slang for cash. When people break bread, they share more than just a meal. They come together in both body and spirit. It is not surprising that making bread outdoors is special. From the beginning of recorded history, Bread has been a vital food source for people around the globe. Over the centuries, it has traveled and evolved, reflecting both the unity and diversity of human culture and the ability of people to adapt to their environment. 